Hi, my name is Deepika and in this video I am going to show how to configure message queue in MDM. Informatica MDM interacts with external system or the downstream system using message queue. It generates XML messages about any data changes in the hub store and then publishes those messages in the message queue if it has been registered in the MDM. Let me just walk you through the introduction. Message queues are used during the publish process of MDM. Publish is the last process of MDM. After the record got loaded and matched and merged, the golden record is generated. So there is a need for external system or the downstream system to look into those records or to fetch those records and process it in their application. In order to act as a communication channel between the MDM and the external application, we use the message queue. So JMS message queue acts as a communication channel between MTM and the external application. While installing MDM, you would have noticed there will be a queue name siberian.sif.jms.queue which would be generated. And this queue is used by MTM for unsynchronous transaction. It is also known as the inbound queue in MTM. You should not use this queue in as a external as an outbound queue. In order to use the outbound queue, you need to create a new queue in the application server. It should be separate. And you need to use the JND name of connection factory and the JND name of the message queue to register it in the hub console. There is a repos table C repos MQ underscore data underscore change which is which is under the ORS schema which stores all the messages which are sent by the MDM to the external queues. You can use this table to check what all messages has been sent and uh, what is the status of the message. In order to know the status you have the column send underscore status underscore ID in that table which will tell you whether the message has been pushed to the queue or not. If the status is 0, it means it is still need yet to be delivered. If it is 1, it means it has been successfully delivered. If it is 2, then it means it has been failed to deliver, which means you need to look into the server logs for the more details why it has been failed. If the message is marked with send status ID as 0, there will be a bash email which will keep on monitoring this table and if it found such messages with send status 0, it will push those messages to the message queue. Let me give you a demo on how you can create and configure message queues in India. In this demo, I am using WebLogic as a application server. I have deployed my MDM application on WebLogic server. This is the WebLogic admin console. I'm going to services messaging GMS queue. As MDM is already installed, you would see this Cyperian video created. Under that, you would see this queue, Cyperian Shift GMS queue. It acts as an inbound queue. So this queue would be generated by installing MDM. We cannot use this queue as our outbound queue, which our external system can read and uh, process the message and retrieve the message uh, uh, push into that. So in order to use the outbound queue, we need to create a new queue, JMS queue in the application server. Click on new. You can give any name. I am giving uh, MDM demo queue. have MDM demo queue next step is to log into the hub console we need to register this queue in MDM so first you need to go to configuration message queue configuration message queue add queue server so we need to add the connection factory After adding message queue server, you need to add the message queue under which the message will be pushed. 
you can add more than one message view in this demo i am going to show you with only one message view need to save it use it with message triggers also make sure this property should be enabled if you are going to use the message queues in MDM. If you want the messages to be published to the queue, you need to make sure this property should be enabled. In case it is disabled, click on this button and it will enable it. It will toggle the data changes in MDM. You can test whether this queue is working or not by clicking on test button. You say queue test succeeded. It will place one message to the Second step is you have to make sure you generate the GMS events. So for that click on the utilities, shift manager, select the ORS against which you want to uh, uh, use the message queues. In this example I am using the SIP sample which is the default MDM schema. Click on GMS uh, event schema manager and click on generate and deploy ORS specific schema. In uh, here you are seeing the button is grayed out because I have already generated it. If you are using it first time, you need to use do this activity once for uh, each uh, ORS schema. So if you click on it, it will generate and deploy the ORS specific schema. So this and these steps are required before you actually uh, use the message triggers in schema. After we are done with it, we need to now create the message trigger. So message triggers is used to identify the action against which the mess against which the message should be delivered to the external system actually it acts as a controller you can specify which action should be pushed to the downstream system which action should not be for example you can specify any addition any new record addition should be published to the downstream system or any update to the existing uh, uh, column should be pushed to the downstream system so I am going to now create the set up the message trigger against the schema so you need to do this activity against every scheme against the schema against which you want the uh, message to be published to the queue or against which you want the external system to know that these these changes has happened against this schema in this example I am using party schema and I'm going to set up the message trigger. You click on add trigger. You can give any name. I'm giving the party demo message queue. Click on next. Use the package. These packages which you will create under the package scheme. So, the query mentioned in these packages will be used by MDM to generate the XML message. The columns mentioned in the query will be used, will act as a tag in the XML message. So, if you do not find appropriate package, you need to create the package and then you need to create the, uh, add the message trigger. You need to select the queue again against which the message will be pushed by MDM. Click on next. Here comes the rules. Here you can specify the e events or the conditions against which the message should be generated. So if you want, whenever there is a new addition to the or new insert to the table, then there should be a message generated. You can click on add new data. Uh, if there is update in the existing data or if it got, got unmerged or merged, you can select respective events. Also, you have a control to send the messages against the source system. If you want the messages to be triggered only when there is an update from the DNB source system or from the admin source system or BTT source system, you can uh, you can choose those. Whatever uh, you will not mark the, whatever you will not click on the checkboxes, those the events will not get generated against them. So there will be the no message generated if the checkbox is not marked against that event or if the check box is not marked against that source system. So if there is a new addition of data again uh, by the legacy source system, it will not get uh, added into the message queue. 
the XML will not get generated by MDM. You have also a control against the column uh, you want to, you wish to generate the message. So if you want only for first name, last name, middle name to be generated, if there is any change in this column, then only you want the message to be uh, to be triggered. You can add this, or if you want any change in the column, all the columns will be included. So we have set up the message trigger. Now I am going to demonstrate how you can see the message in the message queue. So for that I am going to create a new record. I am using data manager. You can use any other option like save call or IDD. Let's just create a new record. A new record is created. So we can see this record in the uh, message queue and in the C repos MQ data change table. Let's check it. If I query this table, I will see the one message, one row has been created and it says the message status is zero. It still need to be sent. It is in the queue to be sent. It says the message has been created. It's it's in the queue to be sent. It will be pushed to the message queue. So you can see this table for all the message generated by MDM. If I carry it again, I can see the message status is one means it is has been pushed to the published to the message queue. We can we will if if the message is not yet consumed by the external system it will still be there in the queue so we can check it in the weblogic admin console as well go to the queue on which the message has been pushed click on monitoring you will see the messages generated you click on show messages it will show you the messages so this see the message has been generated and put into the queue it is still not consumed by any of the external system so it will remain in the queue till then that is all about how you can configure message queue in MDM. This is the same way you can configure it in JBoss or the web application server. Thank you very much for watching this video. We would love to hear from you. You can write to us at sportvideos at informatica.com or you can tweak us at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.